for all of our heartbeats, for the catch in the throats of people opening up for the first time to strangers on their own doorsteps about the events of their lives, for the floodgates of words flowing from women in their 80s who skivvied in England, avoiding the laundries, for the bent spine of the man who said years ago, I would have felt different, but we raised three daughters and I couldn't be prouder. Now I take my direction from them, not the clergy. My wife has passed on, but she'd agree she lost her sister to an ectopic pregnancy in some class of codology that said there should be no intervention. For the grown-up wild girls, now in their 70s, who we meet on the doorsteps, and for their eye glints and mischief that have outlasted years of repression, I'm yes, they tell us. Yes, it's high time Ireland got over itself. Lord knows it'd be different if men could get pregnant. For the silence of their generation of men who seem to be saying nothing about anything, even though they were there too, with their brill cream for the show bands and romance. We're out for them too, and their freedom, even if they don't know it. And we're out for Anne Lovett, who used to shout on the deserted streets at night time, Wake up, Granard, wake up. We're out for an end to the bitterness and judgment that doesn't do Ireland justice. And we're out for the young mother down a country lane at dusk with her curly-haired girl in her arms, who said, I went to Holland myself and I've never told anyone. I postnatal depression and I just couldn't do it. I swear, if we don't win it, this one won't grow up here. It's cruel in the airport, cruel in the hotel, and worse when you get back and have to keep your mouth buttoned as if you've done something shameful when you did all you could humanly do in the circumstances. And all I can tell you is win, lose or draw, my daughter won't live like that. For the man from Egypt who told us that his wife is pregnant and he fears for her safety, so he saved money up so he can leave if she's any complications. He doesn't understand it because clearly a woman is more than a fetus, even a fool can see that. For the women out with us who walk this path in the 80s and can't believe that no one is spitting at them. For these, these women who are nervously allowing themselves to start believing that this time we might win it, we can't let them down. For the farmer on his tractor giving us a thumbs up when he sees our yes jackets saying good luck to you. I've seen cows treated better than my wife was in pregnancy. It'll be a yes for me. For the parents we're meeting whose views were discounted by doctors and consultants in the shade of the eighth. As if they were spectators who couldn't be trusted with labour. Our babies are being in control of their choices. For the women who've told us they've lost ovaries and fallopian tubes and had cesarean sections they didn't consent to. For the horrors we still have of children impregnated by relatives. Make no mistake, we've seen those closed curtains. And for that one young man voting yes in a house full of no voters whose eyes welled up when we called and given the chance to tell us I'm voting with you guys and for the young people out in their droves with us to knock on, do on the doors because we've raised them for better. Ireland it's complicated but we won't give up on you. This time it's got to be yes because all of our hearts beat and we don't deserve any less.